Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Soul Work. The, I'm your host, Jenny Cousins, and welcome, everyone. We are live here on Shaw TV, and we are going to open up the phone lines as we always do after our commercial break, and that number is 403-539-6710. So after our interview, Calgary, give us a call because I know you're going to have questions for my guest tonight. I can feel it. <laughs> so look out everyone on tonight's show I have Sheldon Zambor thank you Sheldon for coming on nice to be here <laughs> it's fun having you on we're gonna have a lot of fun don't worry <laughs> we're I'm gonna keep it. it real we're gonna keep it real we're gonna keep it real we just finished showing our shoes so mm -hmm. yeah we were keeping it real. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's been one of those days where we're actually going on shoes immediately. Absolutely. That's the most important topic of, after all. I know how to get into a woman's head. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this could get real interesting real fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's about the shoes. Yeah, it's about the shoes. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know Sheldon, I'd be surprised. Oh, it's, I'm pretty well hidden. I'm you are, well but hidden. you're not. I've been here a while, but I kind of work behind the scenes. I you mean, do. I'm in a very supportive role in, uh, around town. You are, mm -hmm. but but you you are out there though. Mm -hmm. Can you tell everybody who you are? Well, I'm a piano player, or I'm a keyboard player, musician, and I've been here for a while, and I've done uh, many shows. I've done lots of musicals. I've done lots of theater. Done lots of jazz, rock, played in clubs written songs, recorded. So I just do everything because I have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What instrument do you like the best? Well, the one I play. So I play piano. Yeah. Keyboards. Yeah, love it. Yeah. What, what drew you into your what music? Me, what yeah. drew me into my music? Yeah. Uh, I think it was when I was four years old, I was uh, slapping the kitchen table with my hands and my, my dad goes, oh, you'd love piano, you'd love piano. And that was that. I really didn't have a choice. Yeah, slapping oh. the, the kitchen table is gonna do that. <laughs> so yeah, that, uh, that's the end of that story. It's just He just kind of, was your dad into music? My dad was a musician. Mm -hmm. And my dad was actually a busy musician in town too. So he used to work with Tommy Banks, he used to do TV shows and and he used to bring me to TV shows and a lot of things, and I would just kind of hang around and be a part of that life, and it was very normal. And uh, it wasn't so normal, because I, apparently I was the only kid that was doing that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Was, did he play the piano as well, or did he play other instruments? He was actually a working trombonist. Oh. Which apparently is supposed to be a rarity. The joke is, Where's your pizza sign on top of your car if you're a trombone player? <laughs> but he actually, he actually had a full-time job working as a trombone player. So, yeah. So when did he you great. when did you get into full-time with your music? Uh, well, I went to Toronto. I studied there, and then after after going to Humber College in Toronto, uh, I was full-time. I've been playing pro basically since I've been 16. Really? Yep. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm a lifer. Yeah, you are definitely a lifer. Oh, yeah. Your music is very good. Thanks. It's really, yeah. really, really good. Yeah. It's yeah. really interesting. Yeah. Had a great day today. I just played a concert with uh, Morag Northy downtown, and it was a whole hour of fully improvised music with the cellist. Mm. And um, it's stuff like that. Just do wild and crazy stuff like that. <laughs> well, especially with Morag. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We just walked up there. We didn't know what we were going to do. And, yeah. and then the, uh, okay, we start now. And then we just played for an hour, not yeah. knowing what we're going to do. It, yeah. was, it was pretty cool. And that, and that can be the best of times, just kind of winging it. And mm -hmm. Yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah. It was a great day. Yeah, because you travel and do concerts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, yeah I've, uh, I've worked at, well, geez, I played in Atlantic City. I've played in New York. When I lived in Toronto, we would do the old Eastern Seaboard thing and played in Europe and whatnot. So, yeah, I, I can't count the places I played. Where was your favorite place? If you had to choose, 
where would you say your favorite place would be? Hmm. My favorite place that I played. Yeah. You know, oddly enough, it was, I think it was in Holland, it was in Nijmegen. Mm. The people were very warm, very receptive. I met some really uh, cool people and I had actually an aha moment actually in that place of uh, uh, these other musicians, these Dutch musicians really embraced us and uh, it was a turning point. Mm. Yeah, it was a very cool place. That's always, because you've played for the royal family in Queen Elizabeth, have you not? Yeah. yeah how was that? How is that? Like, how did that happen? Because that, that's not a normal kind of a Well, we, thing. we played there. I, I was, b was part of the, an outfit that uh, worked with the D&D. We, we were part of the band branch. And um, so in p one, one day in particular, when we were playing for the Queen, uh, one of the bandmen, uh, he's a sax player, Bill, he actually told the uh, the queen her purse didn't match her shoes. <gasps> oh, that's gutsy. And he actually yeah. said, by the way, your purse doesn't match your shoes. <laughs> so the next time we played for her, she goes, do they match now? Oh. <laughs> and she was totally okay. She was great. She, I think she just waits for that these moments where she can actually be a human instead yes. of this, this doll that kind of marches along. Yes. So it was great. Yeah, great. I bet. Yeah, it was good. Good to see. I bet. Did you p play at the palace or was no, it? No, it was a. It was kind of a like an embassy type of uh, affair. I don't remember the exact building, but it was uh, yeah. something like that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool. And that's keeping it real. As as you and I had the conversation oh, yeah. earlier, how I mean, I'm very drawn to people who are are real. Yeah. Authentic. Yeah. And they're completely being their, themselves and that's yeah. what people see exactly so the queen you know i would have been the same person as i am oh yeah this little crack of light came out and we went there it is there's <laughs> the person you know it was great really great to see it. it it was i bet you it is so now you're teaching are you not yep i'm teaching for the calgary board right now i'm doing musical theater for a central memorial and they're fantastic kids. I get to play for all the, uh, all the crazy kids that do theater. And I don't mean crazy as in, you know, I mean, they're, they're the people that are keeping it real. They're, they're really an awesome bunch of kids and um, I really enjoy working for them. And then I do uh, some work with uh, Decidedly Jazz and they're, it's a dance thing. And then I teach uh, jazz privately. Okay. Sort of an offshoot of what I used to do with Mount Royal when they had yeah. a program. Yeah, because you also mentioned something with Parkinson. Yeah, I do a class uh, every week for Parkinson's patients, mm -hmm. and I play, uh, I improvise music for them, so they dance and they become mobilized, and, and actually it's being studied by the Canada Council uh, for mm -hmm. research. Mm -hmm. It's great. So. Yeah, because that would be very healing and mm -hmm. therapeutic for them. Mm -hmm. You know, because just the vibration would, would instantly. Well, what I'm trying to do is they're all of a certain age group. And I remember that it, they're sort of roughly my parents' age. So all that music I remember hearing and I try to just tap into them. And I had a gentleman actually at the Breakdown in Tears one class. Mm -hmm. And I said, what happened? He says, you played my wedding song. I remember oh. walking down the aisle with my wife and, and I went, there you go. Oh. And he was dancing to it and, and sobbing at the same time. Mm -hmm. But that's the whole idea is you're trying to trip that, mm -hmm. that uh, the Parkinson's thing and go straight to their emotional state. Unbelievable. It's fantastic. Yeah, that, that's the healing part yeah. of you. Because yeah. your energy is very calm, so they'd be yeah. drawn to you anyways. So if somebody wanted to, um, you know, get in touch with you to, to buy your CDs or to book you for an event of some sort, what is the best way for them to do that? Uh, to go to my website. Okay, and what was your website? It would be sheldonsandboard.com. Well, there you go. <laughs> and Calgary, our phone lines are now officially open, by the way. And I want you to call in and ask Sheldon some questions as well. Because you know I do my readings, of course. <laughs> and that number is 
539-6710. We'll be right back after this short commercial break, so hang in there.